good season. We uh, we had the the men go 15 and four, and we're ranked 12 in the final poll this year. Uh, they made the highest ranking they've had in probably about 15 years with getting to 11. We had two All-Americans and around four academic All-Americans. We had four players all-conference. We had just a really good season on the men's side all across the board. And on the women's side, we had uh, the women got as high as 21 throughout the season, fell to the votes receiving category. Uh, but then again, we had one academic All-American. We, uh, we had a couple that got uh, all-conference. And, you know, they had a good year. We just didn't get to where we wanted to be, but we were closer. And next year, we'll probably be able to make that step to getting to, uh, towards the national tournament for the women. It's been the recruiting. We've had, we've just had good players across the board. Uh, the chemistry has been good, and that's been the biggest thing. And staying eligible. We had a few uh, with eligibility, but not, not that many in the, in the scheme of things. Uh, so as a whole, we had a good group of guys, good recruiting, uh, good chemistry across and good in academics. The big thing right now is, again, we have a lot of seniors coming. We'll have this upcoming season. We have a lot of women who are going to be coming back. Uh, we did lose a lot on the women's side when it came to, to seniors, but we have a good core group coming back, and the recruits that we have coming in will be able to complement them well to continue to have the success that we need to have. Uh, the men, we have every person returning from this year plus several good recruits and one player who uh, is going to be eligible this upcoming season who is a real game changer for us.